एफ एफ टी और फास्ट फोरियर ट्रांसफॉर्म वॉट इज फास्ट इन दिस फास्ट फोरियर ट्रांसफॉर्म एंड हाउ द एफिशियंसी हैज बीन इंक्रीज फ्रॉम डी एफ टी वी विल लुक एट दिस एस्पेक्ट इन दिस पर्टिकुलर प्रेजेंटेशन सो डी एफ टी एलगोरथम वेन वी टॉक अबाउट दिस लेट्स यू नो लुक बैक टू फोरियर ट्रांसफॉर्म फोरियर ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ एन एनोलॉग सिग्नल दैट इज एक्स टी is given by this equation or expression now when we talk about discrete fourier transform that is dft a discrete time signal x nt is given by this uh, particular expression now this expression will be uh, we will be using it uh, you know quite often uh, in later slides so you need to uh, look very closely uh, at this uh, expression now if we assume this to be wn this will be twiddle so this we are going to use again a lot so dft algorithm when we start from 0 to n minus 1 these are the uh, discrete numbers so for n samples of x we have n frequency representing the signals where this number is input these are frequency bins and this w is a twiddle factors so what is actually what we are going to look at is the performance of dft so dft requires n square n into n complex multiplication each x square requires n complex multiplication so therefore to evaluate all the values of dft that is from 0 to n minus 1 we require n square multiplications and similar is the case with addition as well the dft also requires n minus 1 into n complex addition how each x k it requires n minus 1 additions so therefore to evaluate all the values of the dft we requires n minus 1 into n additions so the performance of it, uh, the dft algorithm is like this so can we uh, you know reduce the computations large amount of work has been done on this so we have come up with uh, fast fourier transform this is the equation we are talking about so what we are going to do is we are going to divide the sequence into even and odd sequences that is x2 and x2 n plus 1 so these are the even these are the odd sequences and the equation which i was talking about can be rewritten like this with twiddle factor and even and odd so this particular even and odd reduces to this number so we again rewriting this we have yk representing this and zk representing this so the result is that uh, n point dft can be divided into two n by 2 point dfts and this will be you know uh, a repeating thing this is going to go on so yk and zk are the two n by 2 points of dfts operating on even and odd samples respectively they are operating respectively on even and odd so we have 2n by 2 point dfts again the basic point is dividing n by 2 and then coming to periodicity and symmetry also we look at the periodicity and symmetry of the series or the sequence this is the symmetry this is the periodicity this is the symmetry this is the periodicity so it uh, you know a periodic means it repeats itself and symmetry means its look somewhat similar finally by exploiting the symmetry and periodicity the equation reduces to this and once we receive this the yk and this zk you know preceding this uh, twiddle only need to be calculated once and used for both equations so this is important we don't have to calculate it again and again the calculation is reduced from 0 to n minus 1 to 0 to n by 2 minus 1 this is a huge improvement and we actually get these equations and the process is not stopped here it continues until we reach 2 point dfts i show it using a diagram see these are even these are odd and they are combined to make this and even like this 
so calculation of the output of a butterfly how it becomes a butterfly you see this uh, figure it you know, somewhat uh, looks like a butterfly now we have yk and we have zk you know collecting all periodicity symmetry and dividing we finally get u and l and these are different methods we can compute u and l so the best method is the one with the least number of multiplications and additions so we calculate u by this ma manner l by this manner and the calculation of the output of a butterfly will be somewhat like this so the to further minimize the number of operations that is multiplication and addition the following are calculated only well these are the values which are only computed once again and again we don't have to com compute now the FFT has evolved and now it has come to n log n from n square this is a huge improvement to efficiently implement the FFT if you want to implement in some code algorithm a few observations are made which you need to understand that each stage has the same number of butterflies that is number of butterflies is equal to n by 2 where n is the number of points the number of dft groups per stage because it re reduces from n by 2 n by 2 to n by 4 it equals to n by 2 to the power stage difference between the upper and lower leg is equal to 2 to the power stage minus 1 and the number of butterflies in the group is equal to 2 to the power stage minus 1 hope you understood the idea how FFT has involved and how it has become the efficiency of this particular algorithm has become n log n so thank you so much the PPT is from here uh, hope you understood